In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The reason why Christ died for sins once for all, just man, for the sake of the unjust, was that he might lead to God. Christ suffered in the flesh, therefore arm yourselves with the same mentality. He who has suffered in the flesh has broken with sin. You are not to spend what remains of your earthly life on human desires, but in the will of God. Rejoice in the measure that you share Christ's suffering. When His glory is revealed, you will rejoice exultantly. Together we pray, Lord, as we walk with you on the way of the cross, you lead us through our many crosses in life as migrant workers. The cross, our self-offering, weighs heavily upon us. Along your own way of the cross, you also carried my cross, nor did you carry it just at one distant moment in the past, but your love continues to accompany every moment of my life. Today, you carried that cross with me and for me, and amazingly, you want me, like Simon of Cyrene, to join you in carrying your cross. You want me to walk at your side and place myself with you at the service of the world's redemption. Grant that my way of the cross may not be just a moment of passing piety. Help all of us to accompany you not only with the noble thoughts, but with all our hearts and in every step we take each day of our lives. Help us resolutely to set out on the way of the cross and to persevere on our path. Free us from the fear of the cross, from the fear of mockery, from the fear that our life may escape our grasp unless we cling possessively to everything it has offered. Help us to unmask all those temptations that promise life, but whose enticements in the end leave us only empty and deluded. Help us not to take life but to give it. As you accompany us on the path to Calvary, help us to discover in losing our lives the path of love, the path which give us true life and life in abundance. First station, Jesus is condemned to death by crucifixion. We adore you, O Lord Jesus Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. They demanded with loud cries that Jesus be crucified, and their shouts increased in violence. Pilate then decreed, that what they demanded should be done. Pilate handed Jesus to be crucified. He released the one they asked for, who had been thrown in prison for insurrection and murder, and delivered Jesus up to their wishes. Gospel of Luke, chapter 23, verses 23 to 25. We adore you, our suffering Jesus, Caiaphas and Pilate condemn you, and you accepted the cross as a Lamb of God led to be slaughtered, to take away my sins and the sins of the whole world. Lord, poverty condemns many migrant workers to leave their families and work abroad. Encourage me, Jesus, in facing the daily challenges of life. Together we pray. 
Let us pray for all migrant workers in Hong Kong. We especially remember those who suffer various abuses from their employers, termination, discrimination, those who are sick, suffering mental anxiety, the undocumented, the lonely and depressed, the unpaid workers, those seeking employment, those in prison, and are spiritually confused. As members of the one body of Christ, we too feel their pains. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Do not bring us to the test, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, crucified, ever present in the Eucharist, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Jesus carries his cross. We adore you, O Lord Jesus Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. The Gospel of Luke The soldiers made fun of Jesus, taunting him, Hail to the King of the Jews! They mock him with a purple cloak and the crown of thorns. They kept beating his head with reed, and spitting on him. After they had mocked him, they took the purple robe of him and put his own garments on him. They laid the hard, dead wood on his shoulders and led him out to crucify him. Jesus accepted it willingly, eagerly. Jesus had said, Whoever does not bear his own cross and come after me cannot be my disciple. He who saves his life will lose it, and he who loses his life for my sake will find it. We adore you, our tormented Jesus, carrying your own cross for love of us and for the whole world. This cross should be ours, not yours. Our sins put you on it. Strengthen me, Jesus, in carrying my daily cross with perseverance. Together we pray. Let us pray for all migrant workers burdened in mind and body, those who are having family and relationship problems, financial difficulties, and heavy responsibilities in work. These are the cross we have to carry. May we find rest in the company of Jesus in our prayer. May we find hope and comfort in His divine word. May we find His help through good friends and supportive family members. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, crucified, ever-present in the Eucharist, have mercy on us and on the whole world.
Third station, Jesus falls for the first time. We adore you, O Lord Jesus Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Tradition speaks of Jesus falling three times on his painful journey, exhausted and overcome by the oppressive burden of the cross. He fell to the ground. We recall that Jesus had said, Come to me, all you who labor and are burdened, and I will give you rest. For my yoke is easy and my burden light. We adore and we thank you, our Savior and our God. By this first fall, never let us fall into mortal sin. Our cross is also heavy, but we thank you for supporting us through our daily bread in the Eucharist, giving us strength to rise up again. Together, let us pray for all migrant workers in the Middle East, where many Catholics cannot openly express their religion, and some have even traded their Christian faith for convenience. May the Eucharist strengthen the faith of those who remain loyal to Christ and the Church. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who sin against us. Do not bring us to the test, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ crucified, ever present in the Eucharist, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Fourth station, Jesus meets his mother. We adore you, O Lord Jesus Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Again, tradition tells us of a meeting of mother and son on his way to Calvary. Mary must have remembered when she and Joseph brought the child Jesus to be presented in the temple. There, Simeon told her, this child is destined to be a sign that is rejected, and a sword will pierce your own soul too. And Mary kept everything in her heart. We adore you, suffering Jesus, for giving Mary your mother to be our mother also. O most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, looking at the pain of your son Jesus, you must have remembered the sword that Simeon foretold would pierce your heart. And your immaculate heart, joined to the sacred heart of Jesus, bled for love of humanity. Mary, our mother, pray for us sinners and help us to understand the mystery of love expressed in sacrifice and suffering. Together, let us pray for all mothers among the migrant workers, who have to live and be away from their beloved children at home. We invoke the protection of Our Lady, the Blessed Virgin Mary, for those who have to leave their homes and migrate to another country to provide the necessities of life for themselves and their families. We also pray for all the children of OFWs left behind, away from their parents. May God protect them from evil influences. May they grow in grace, train in Christian values. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, 
now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, crucified, ever present in the Eucharist, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Fifth station, Simon of Cyrene helps Jesus carry the cross. We adore you, O Lord Jesus Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. The soldiers forced into service a passerby coming from the field, Simon of Cyrene, to help Jesus carry the cross. Our exhausted Jesus, inexhaustible fountain of compassion, we want to be another Simon of Cyrene to those who are suffering. May we be sensitive and generous to all those in need and suffering in silence. May we never think only of our comfort, but be always ready to give a helping hand to our needy migrant workers. Together, let us pray for government and non-governmental organizations that are involved in helping migrant work through their humanitarian assistance. May the Lord, who is the real figure of the Good Samaritan, continue to embolden in their fight for justice and peace. Let us pray for those whose life abroad had been many long years of Calvary, a life of tears and pain, because of the maltreatment, abuse, loneliness, and work. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ crucified, ever present in the Eucharist, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Sixth station, Veronica wipes the face of Jesus. We adore you, O Lord Jesus Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Only a woman gets through the crowd and wipes the disfigured face of Jesus with her veil. Jesus imprints on it his holy countenance. Glory to you, our Lord Jesus, the splendor and figure of the sustenance of the Father. Thank you, our Lord Jesus, for allowing us to meet you face to face in the Eucharist. When we gaze at the bread and wine, may our faith show us that it is really you who are there. Hide not your face from us, your presence, O Lord, we seek. Together we pray. Let us pray for all women migrant workers who are disfigured by abortion, prostitution, violence, and illegal recruitment, and all sorts of human trafficking. Let us also pray for those women 
who fight to retain their dignity and purity. May the cleansing and purifying effects of the Eucharist and the sacrament of reconciliation touch their lives. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, crucified, ever-present in the Eucharist, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Seventh Station, Jesus Falls the Second Time We adore you, O Lord Jesus Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Once again, Jesus falls to the ground, not only by the weight of the cross, but also due to the weakness of the body. The spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak, St. Paul wrote to the Romans. Even though I want to do what is right, a law that leads to wrongdoing is always ready at hand. My inner self agrees with, that, with the law of God, but I see in my body another law at war with the law of my mind. What a wretched person I am. The weight of the cross gets heavier, dear Jesus. Now the sins of the Christians, of your friends, make you fall the second time. Our sacrileges, ingratitude, injustices, impurities, dishonesty, abortions, and adulteries make your cross heavier. Thank you, our dearest friend Jesus, for your humility in the Eucharist, giving us always the chance to repent for our daily sins. Together, let us pray for all migrant workers who are constantly in the danger of temptation to sin, who are weakened in the spirit of conscience, especially those who backslide in their faith and moral life. Let us pray for those who, while working abroad, have sinned against their marriage vows, have been unfaithful to their spouses, neglected their children, and engaged in immoral conduct. Our Father who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, crucified, ever-present in the Eucharist, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eighth station, Jesus speaks of the women of Jerusalem. We adore you, O Lord Jesus Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. In the Beatitudes, Jesus said to his disciples, Blessed are you who are weeping, you shall laugh. Blessed are you when people hate you, 
when they insult and persecute you because of the Son of Man, on the day they do so, rejoice and be glad, for your reward shall be great in heaven. We adore you, most compassionate Jesus, for you did not seek to be comforted, but to comfort others. You speak not only to the women of Jerusalem, but to all women of every generation. When you said, Do not weep for me, but weep for yourselves and for your children. For if they do this when the wood is green, what will happen when it is dry? For your daily sacrifice in the Eucharist, Lord Jesus, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Together we pray. Let us pray for all women migrant workers. May they be free from all forms of abuses and that they may be protected of their rights as women working in a foreign lands. We pray also for pregnant women that they may treasure the gift of God bestowed upon them, the gift of life. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Lord Jesus crucified, ever present in the Eucharist, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Nine station, Jesus falls the third time. We adore you, O Lord Jesus Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. We hear from the book of Psalms, I am warm, not a man, the scorn of men, despised by the people, all who see me scoff at me, they mock me with parted lips, they wag their heads, he relied on the Lord, let him deliver him. Let us rescue him if he loves him. The cross gets heavier and heavier, and you fall the third time. We recall from the book of Proverbs, the just man falls seven times and rises again, but the wicked stumble to ruin. For Jesus, we repent for our repeated and habitual sins. Your most painful fall is when we, whom you consider your family and closest friends fail you. Thank you, our most dear friend Jesus, for your patience and perseverance in the Eucharist. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Together, let us pray for all families of migrant workers. For several years, migration has damaged the unity and harmony, the trust and love in the family. Lead our youth, our children, especially those severely neglected, a greater appreciation for your gift of love, particularly in the Eucharist. We also remember in prayer those migrant workers who fall under the weight of financial debts, the oppressive treatment of their employers, hunger, worries, fear, anger, and unforgiveness for the betrayal of their friends and family. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Amen. Lord Jesus crucified, ever present in the Eucharist, have mercy on us and on the whole world.
Tent station, Jesus is stripped of his clothes. We adore you, O Lord Jesus Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. When they came to the place called Golgotha, the skull, they stripped him of his clothes. We recall what St. Paul wrote to the Ephesians, You must lay aside your former way of life and old self, which deteriorates through illusion and desire. Acquire a fresh spiritual way of thinking. You must put on the new self created in God's image, whose justice and holiness are born of truth. We adore you, our naked Jesus, mirror of the Father and eternal splendor. The soldiers divided your clothes among them and cast lots for your garments fulfilling two of the thirteen prophecies of Psalm 22, all of them in Calvary. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for your nakedness and meekness in the Eucharist. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Together, let us pray for migrants who are stripped of their dignity through prostitution, drug addiction, and sexual abuse. In many countries, many Filipino women working as entertainers are being forced into prostitution in exchange for money. Workers abroad have been executed or are given a death penalty for drug trafficking. We pray for those who lost their dignity and identity when they have reached another country. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, crucified, ever-present in the Eucharist, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eleven station, Jesus is nailed to the cross. We adore you, O Lord Jesus Christ, and we bless you, because by Holy Cross you have redeemed the world. Jesus was brought to Golgotha, and there they crucified him between two thieves. This is the highest expression of the excess of love. This is the hour. Thank you, Jesus, for your crucifixion through which also crucify the sins of humankind. We are truly sorry if our sins have caused you pain and so much suffering. You stretch out your arms on the cross to embrace the world. May your love transform us into a people who are willing to be consumed by love. Together, let us pray for the employers of migrant workers, especially those who crucify their workers, by their cruelty and injustice. But we also commend to God's goodness the kind, compassionate, and humane employers. May the King of the universe, ever present in the Eucharist, reward the good and change the heart of the cruel. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, 
Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, crucified, ever present in the Eucharist, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Twelve station, Jesus dies on the cross. We adore you, O Lord Jesus Christ, and we bless you, because by Holy Cross you have redeemed the world. It was about the sixth hour, and darkness fell over the whole land until the ninth hour, because the sun is hidden, and veil of the temple was torn in two, and Jesus crying out with a loud voice, Father. Into your hands I commit my spirit. Having said this, he breathed his last and gave up his spirit. Jesus is dead. It is finished. The mission is completed. The work of redemption is accomplished. This is a glorious moment of victory where the sinful humanity returns and is reconciled with the Father. The sacrifice of Jesus on the cross is perpetuated the celebration of the Eucharist. Now Jesus is in the Eucharist already for more than 2,000 years, day and night, waiting for us, waiting the excess of love. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, crucified, ever present in the Eucharist, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Thirteen station, Jesus is taken down from the cross. We adore you, O Lord Jesus Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Then the Jews, because it was the day of preparation, so that the bodies would not remain on the cross on the Sabbath, asked Pilate that their legs might be broken, and that they might be taken away. Coming to Jesus. When the soldiers saw that he was already dead, they did not break his legs. But one of the soldiers pierced his side with a spear, and immediately blood and water came out. Now Jesus is in your arms again, most holy mother, just as in Bethlehem. Receive us also into your arms, O sorrowful mother, with the same love you received Jesus. Embrace and protect us.
console us and wipe our tears. A million thanks, my tender mother. A million thanks, my dearest Jesus, for your love and joy in the Eucharist. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Together, let us pray for all migrant workers who finally return to their families. We remember in prayers those migrant workers who died while working abroad or members of migrant families who passed away. Through the Eucharist, in union